Yes, it is. It is almost eleven. Yes, it is almost eleven. Yeah. So, who will be the first presenter? Vibhash. Vibhash Shen is there. Yes, sir. No, uh, I am Amit Kumar Pramanik. Oh. So you will be presenting. So you may start your presentation. Okay, sir. Okay. The genetic. Yes, sir. Algorithm. Uh, please give me the permission so that I can share my repeat. Yes, please. Hmm. Yeah, Amit. Hmm. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, is it visible? Yes, visible. Okay. Yes, it is visible now. Okay, okay. Thank yeah. you, sir, uh, for giving me opportunity to present my paper. The title of my paper is "Impact of Genetic Algorithm on Low Power QC Logic Circuit with Regular Clocking." So this is a deep. Uh... Okay. Uh, one thing, sir. One minute. Yes, sir. I have turned on my radio. Uh, this is my uh, outline of my presentation. And uh, first is introduction. In introduction, first I want to I want to tell you the conventional uh, the challenge of, of conventional technology. Uh, currently, the CMOS technology has many problems like feature size reduction. It means that in a CMOS technology, the feature size we cannot reduce further. It has reached its final or ultimate limits. It has also many challenges like low device density, high power distribution. So to solve these challenges, we many technologies are available. QC is one of the technology to solve this issue. If I say that, if I describe the diagram, which is present the right hand side, according to Moray, he divides the area in three parts. One is uh, more than Moray, one is more Moray, another is beyond Simmons. In case of more more, uh, the chip size is continuously increasing and it, is, uh, it uh, starts from 1980 to 19, uh, 2020. In case of beyond CMOS, which is the current uh, QC technology belongs to beyond CMOS, it, uh, it proceeds to the part, uh, future as the chip size is continuously stable. Means it is not increasing, not increasing like more than more or more more. So that's why we can, we can use the uh, QC technology. Next. I want to discuss some basic properties or basic part of QCA. In QCA, the basic element is QCA cell. Each QCA cell contains four quantum dots. In between these four quantum dots, two electrons are present in adjacent, uh, di uh, diagonally, adjacent, uh, diagonally uh, opposite dots. Because if they are present in adjacent uh, dots, then the columnic interaction is very much high. So that's why they are present diagonally opposite dots and if i say the first cell diagram as binary one then the second diagram will be binary zero next in case of qcs there are some basic gates are there just like in conventional or cmos technology and or gate is there in CMO, in uh, qca the basic gates are majority voter and inverter for majority voter we can implement the conventional and or gate by using any one of the input fixing at zero or one so this one is the uh, diagram for uh, majority gate this b Diagram. In case of inverter, another basic gates of QC is inverter. There are many structures is available for QC inverter, but I have represented it's only two structure for inverter. I can say that the first diagram is for uh, diagram inverter structure and second diagram is double path inverter structure. Next is QC clocking in the right part of the slide. Actually, QC clocking is used uh, to synchronize the information flow in QC. In QC clocking, mainly four phases are there. First is switch, then hold, then relax, and then relax phase. In case of uh, in case of switch phase, at the beginning of the switch phase, the inter dot barrier is low, and the QC cell is unpolarized. And at the end of the switch uh, at, at the end of the switch phase, the QC, uh, QC inter dot barrier is very much high, and the QC cell is polarized. And in case of hold state, the polarized cell which uh, transmit the polarization or slightly uh, uh, affect the uh, debug cell in, by this diagram, I have represented this one. And at the release state, the polarization is uh, started, the QCSL has started unpolarizing and the, the interdot barrier is lowered. 
in case of relaxed phase the qcsl is unpolarized and the intraduodenal periods remain lowered now oh, sorry ha huh. oh, one minute yes next regular clock i have already discussed what is the functionality or main requirement of uh, clock now in case of regular clocking we need some rule but till now many clocking scheme are proposed but maximum of them are telling about the how many qcs cell must be placed in particular zone but none of them given not none of them maximum they not given some fixed or uniform shape so that we can realize any qcs circuit just like in this diagram we can uh, describe the qcs clocking at, at the top the metal conducted layer is there then the qcs cell layer is there at the below qcs clock uh, clock wire layer is there so here 0 degree actually represents the clock zone 0 90 degree clock zone 1 and 180 degree represents clock zone 2 and 270 degree uh, represents the clock zone 3 and depending on the qcs cell we can connect to the corresponding qcs wire so this is the main architecture of qcs cell uh, qcs cell or qcs wire next uh, many clocking schemes are available in the in now but i want to discuss some of them first one type of clocking scheme here each uh, mainly the if i consider the one horizontal horizontal or one plane then in case of one type of clocking scheme it is divided in four part and each part represents one clock in case of two type of clocking scheme each part or each vertical space is uh, represented as fixed clock zone but none of them giving you the uh, fixed shape or uniform shape or the feedback path but in case of uac clocking scheme it is very much standard and in case of uac clocking scheme it is uniform in shape but in case of uniform uh, in case of uac clocking scheme it uses multi layer crossover scheme to uh, realize any qcs circuit but we know that the multi layer crossing is very much difficult or it is one, in one sentence it is impossible to fabricate so that's why it It fabricates, but in case of uh, RES clocking, it uses coplanar wire crossing, so it is very much easy to fabricate the QCS circuit. But in case of RES, it's also one advantage is there. Over UAC, it provides three-directional input and two-directional output. But in case of UAC, it every clock zone it provides two-directional input and two-directional output. What is the meaning of two-directional input here? If I find any clock zone in UAC clocking, say suppose if I consider this three clock zone. This three clock zone. There are two edges, a uh, two arrow directed towards it. So it means that two in uh, two input is coming and two edges, ah, uh, two arrows are going outside. It means that ah, uh, two output is there. But in case of RES, in case of two clock zone, there is three input is coming to this clock zone. That's why it is three directional input is there. So that's the main difference between UAC and RES. So the, the, for this advantage of UAC and RAC compared to other clocking scheme, I have used this UAC and RAC clocking scheme in my proposed work. How I have used, I am telling you in my subsequent slides. Next, the uh, motivation why I have uh, targeted this area, why why I uh, find out this problem. In uh, I as I have discussed, the clocking scheme or a clocking is very much important in case of uh, synchronize the information flow in QCS circuit. This is the first point, and the second point is that many work has been done in the, on, on the basis of genetic algorithm, but none of them has discussed which clocking scheme is suitable for this minimized circuit. Moreover, there is no research work there which uses elitism based genetic algorithm. And another point or third point is that power distribution of any QCS circuit is very much important factor. So that's why I have targeted these three areas in my research work in in this paper. so this is the proposed work as i have discussed or as i have told you that i have for this work i have used the elitism based genetic algorithm what is the meaning of elitism based genetic algorithm i am i will discuss in my subsequent slide in the first stage of this genetic algorithm i have created initial population uh, by using by using randomly selected chromosome and then i have calculated the fitness to find the best chromosome and for fitness i have calculated two fitness function one is uh, one is fitness function one and another is fitness function two fitness function one is used for initial initial outputs and the fitness function two is used for other outputs so here here i have given the algorithm for fitness function one and in this case 
uh, in this case, uh, first I have taken one variable 10 feet and inside that I have assigned the ratio between the number of possible input and number of output matches with the target function. If it is exactly one, then I have find out the thickness value in case of wood space delay of the, uh, of the circuit. The wood space delay of the circuit depends on two factors, the number of gates present in the circuit and the number of lips. Number of, in case of number of gate, I have considered the uh, total number of majority voter and the inverter for each circuit. And for number of level, I have considered only the majority voter. Uh, it, the, uh, for counting the level, I have counted the number of uh, total number of majority voter with the longest path from root to leaf root. In that case, in that case, I have not considered inverter because we know that as the, as I have discussed in the basic part of QCA, the majority voter has on uh, it needs three input, but in case of inverter, it needs only one input. So that's why I have con uh, I have considered only the majority voter for counting the level. And then in else part, I have assigned the value of tape in fitness. So this is the first fitness function calculation. In case of second fitness, it is differs from the first fitness function and it considers the it, it considers the all the previous uh, all the previous uh, previous outputs. In case of uh, in the calculus of fitness function two, I have used mainly two variables. One is fitness stored, another is chromosome stored. In case of fitness stored, I use this variable to store the fitness of chromosome having lesser fitness value than one. In case of uh, chromosome stored, it is a mainly a matrix. I have used this matrix to store the uh, store the information at the store uh, store the information about the previous chromosome. Previous chromosome means suppose the current chromosome is I chromosome, then I have stored the information from starting from one to I minus one chromosome in this, uh, in this chromosome stored. And what is the information of the chromosome? That the number of inverter, number of majority voter, and the number of label. I have stored this information for each chromosome inside this matrix chromosome stored. If I discuss this uh, algorithm, the first part is almost same compared to the, uh, 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 considering the previous fitness function one. And in case of the rest of part, this part is mainly the else part. Else part, I have first taken the gate final and the level final. These two variables I have taken and I have assigned some uh, infinite value. And I have started one loop p equals to one to empty count and chromosome stored. It means that it will continue the loop for the number of chromosomes. Again, if I take the same example, if the current chromosome is a chromosome, then I, the loop will iterate from one to i minus one. Next, in total majority voter, it's MB stands for majority voter. As it's total majority voter, I have assigned the value for the difference between the unique majority voter in the chromosome stored P and the common majority voters to current chromosome. Here, unique majority voter is in, in chromosome stored P means that the last chromosome, again, uh, if I take the same example, if the current chromosome is I, then I will take the uh, number of majority voter for the I minus one chromosome and here the common majority voters means the common majority voter for the current uh, current chromosome and the previous chromosome. In the same way I have counted the total inverter and total in case of total gate the total inverter by 3 plus total, uh, total majority voter. Again the same logic I have applied here uh, means the majority voter has three input but inverter has only one input. So that's why I have uh, driven the priority of total inverter by three. Means for three inverter, I will count one inverter. And after that, I have uh, counted the maximum level by this uh, statement. And now I have checked this if condition. If this if condition is satisfied, then get final equals to get total, sorry, get total get and total final equals to maximum level. And final position is to P. And in that fashion, I have calculated the fitness function too. Next. Next part, in case of selection, I have used the, uh, I have performed the tournament selection to find out the uh, best chromosome, uh, depending on its fitness value, to find out uh, to, uh, to do the crossover. In case of crossover, I, I, I have used some modified version of one point crossover because if I use the conventional one point crossover, then it may create problem because in for the same logic that the inverter has one input and the out, uh, majority voter has three inputs. So that's why I have used some modified version of one point crossover. So this is the one example how crossover has been done. So suppose this one is one parent and this one is another parent. After crossover, this uh, will look like this way. Next. In, in case of mutation, I have uh, 
perform the mutation children are executed externally for the same logic because in qc circuit majority voter and inverter is there if the majority voter and inverter are works interchangeably then it may produce the invalid qc circuit it means that i want to tell you suppose one, suppose one circuit is there where uh, two majority voter is there one inverter is there if the after a mutation there is one majority voter and two inverter is was there so as a result it creates some invalid qc circuit so that's why i have performed the mutation externally and next the chromosome with equal number of mutation children are selected randomly which is related to the succeeding generation and uh, and the chromosome with least fitness values are discarded totally and new chromosomes are added at their place and we have repeated these steps uh, for uh, some uh, time uh, until we reaches to the termination condition uh, for this termination condition i have said for i have calculated for 500 population i have calculated this thing and this one is the total algorithm uh, by considering all the steps and here you can easily find out that this elite chromosome or top chromosome yeah top chromosome is actually actually represents the elite chromosome the chromosome which has maximum fitness value and here as i have read used the elite based chromosome the chromosome which has the maximum fitness value which is uh, any changes uh, with this uh, chromosomes are forwarded to the next generation without changing it and this one is the uh, total algorithm for combining all these steps i mean here i have uh, i have iterated the loop to to m m is the size of the population and i have created at the beginning initial population and i have this thing uh, by depending on the fps2 algorithm fitness 1 and fitness 2 i have calculated the fitness and i have done i have whole process with, uh, uh, whole process is done by using this algorithm next for the proposed method i have taken to describe the proposed method i have taken five multi output function and each multi output function is taken from each category of group each category of group means i have taken the first multi output function from three input two output function and the second out, uh, second function from the four input four out, uh, two output function third one from three input three output function and fourth one for three input four output function and fifth one for uh, four output sorry four input and four output function altogether that's why i have uh, to describe the genetic algorithm of the proposed method in brief uh, in uh, elaborately we have i have taken five different function from five different category of groups next as this one and the previous said these are the normal representation or some sum of product representation for the function first i need uh, i need to uh, convert this uh, function in terms of majority voter or the qc representation so that's why i have first converted the normal question in terms of majority uh, of majority voter or inverter gets representation means in the representation of basic gets of qc after that i have applied this equation one by one in the proposed genetic algorithm and as a result we have found this equation g1 d2 g3 g4 and g5 so this equation we have obtained from applying the genetic algorithm in the previous equation means after applying genetic algorithm into this equation 6 to 10, 6 to 10 we have we have find out or we got this equation now we have list this function your each individual function is two blocking scene you will see in rec as i have discussed in the basic part due to the advantage of the standard standardization of uh, standardization blocking scheme you will see in rec we have used for this for a proposed method and we have placed the uh, this circuits or these functions which is minimized by the genetic algorithm in you will see in rec in this slides i have represented the function 3 so in the first the left hand side a b is a b represents the uh, rs clocking scheme i have placed the function 3 in uh, by using the rs clocking scheme and the right hand side represents the us clocking scheme and uh, in the same way i have uh, designed or i have realized all the function in same by using rs and us next power analysis uh, as i have discussed power analysis is very much important factor in qc to uh, for any qc circuit realization so i have find out the power analysis for each circuit so first i have taken two tool for power analysis one is qc pro and another is qc designer e in this slide i have represented uh, the 
power distribution map which i have got by using the qca pro tool choose the energy distribution map which i have which you can find at the below or in this in this slide i have generated this uh, power distribution map in these three different tunnel tunneling energy level one is 0.5 ek one is 1 ek and one is 1.5 ek and this graph at uh, power distribution map i have represented for for one sorry for 0.5 ek and uh, this one you can say power distribution map using usc before applying ca this one is power distribution map using usc after applying ca so all this power distribution map i have generated in tunneling energy level 0.5 ek because due to the limitation of the slide i have only represented here only that the distribution map for the 0.5 ek but in normal case i have generated for c energy level and again this was power distribution map using rec before using before applying kinetic algorithm and power this one the right hand side represents the power distribution map rec applied applied Omid, please try to conclude in 2 uh, minutes time yes sir two three yes, minutes sir. Okay, 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 sir. Okay, sir. And um, from this power distribution map, we can easily find out that in which part power, uh, which part dissipates the power in larger amount. In this power distribution map, the uh, volt area or the uh, mainly the volt area dissipates the power in la larger amount compared to the other area. Next, I have uh, pictorially represented the comparison or the Power dissipation for different type, different uh, type function in this slide, and from this slide we can, from this diagram or from this graph, we can easily find out that for P two and P three function after applying G, the power dissipation is very much large for both the clocking steam. It is USC and RES, and in case of P four, it is large because this one is P four function is exception for this theoretical algorithm. I will discuss in my conclusion that part. Next, uh, for power analysis, I have also used another tool, QCA Designer. This is the this is the higher version of QCA Designer tool. And in the same way, I have calculated uh, the power distribution by using the default parameter. Here, I have again represented the bar bar graph for this uh, power distribution. Again, from this graph, we can also say that for P two and P three, the power distribution is very much less after applying the integral. So combining these two slides, miss this one and the previous one, I can say that for P1 the power dissipation is high after applying the genetic algorithm because here I have used some regular clocking USC and RES to, to realize the circuit. As a result, it increases the circuit area. So that's why the power uh, dissipation is high after applying genetic algorithm. But the total gate count is same after applying genetic algorithm and before applying genetic algorithm. But in case of P2, P3. This one is a good example for our genetic algorithm. In case of P two P three, after applying genetic algorithm, the power distribution is very much low because here the majority voter count and the total voter is reduced after applying genetic algorithm. In case of P five, the majority voter count is reduced after applying genetic algorithm. But as I discussed, we have used some regular clocking scheme, so that's why it increases the circuit area. So that's why the power distribution is high. But P four here is exception. For this genetic algorithm, here the for P4 function, the uh, gate count is increases as a result. It reduces the higher higher amount of power power after applying genetic algorithm. So last, and uh, I want to conclude my presentation. We have used for this uh, research the elitism based genetic algorithm, and I have we have used five different. Multi output function. We have taken this five uh, different multi output from five from five category of groups, and after that we have used two standard clocking scheme to realize this uh, this function. And in in the uh, maximum case or in for five function, the both the clocking scheme performs equally well, interchangeably well. But uh, in case of genetic algorithm. For uh, genetic after applying genetic algorithm, the power distribution reduces 30 to 55 percent, with few exception. If this exception is there, and we have used QCA Pro and QCA Designer E to uh, describe the power distribution by the circuit. These are the reference of my uh, for this paper. Thank you.
Uh, do you... Thank you, Amit, for your presentation. Now, you, if the audience has any questions, we have about seven minutes time to address that. Uh, <clears throat> Amit, I have a question. Yes, sir. So you have used uh, genetic algorithm. Huh? Yes, sir. So uh, is it possible to achieve the end result without using genetic algorithm? Yes, sir, it's also possible. Uh, there is many various methods available there. By this method, we can minimize any QC circuit. But I have targeted the elitism of this genetic algorithm as there is no such work in this field. OK. Uh, and, and what is the future scope of this work? How can we extend further? This uh, uh, sir, from this scope, I can say that uh, I can say that the REAP and USC clocking system is very much efficient for all the circuits. But some circuit the REAC is based, for some other circuit USC is based. But its performance is intensively well. And in case of genetic algorithm, it is uh, very much good for all the functions. There is some exception is there, but all very good for all the circuits. And we can use this genetic algorithm for further optimization for other circuits also. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, I have uh, I have one question. For me. Yes. 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 Uh, you have chosen the initial population of the algorithm as like yes. random, no? Random. Yes. Yes, so yes. that means your optimal solution is not depend on the initial population. No, 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 no. Optimal solution depends always depends on the initial population because uh, I have said that due to some reason or constraint, I need to choose the random limit. So randomly means I have selected, uh, I can select a 500 population or 500 output set. From that, I can choose uh, depending on the fitness value. Uh, the best fitted value I can choose for the uh, for the next generation. Okay, and uh, can you tell me the uh, complexity of the algorithm two and three? Is there any difference? Yes, is there uh, some difference is there because uh, if you rank, first I have ranked all the outputs because here in this my presentation I have told you that I have used some multi output function. If multi output function means I can consider adult multi output function, it has one into one output is some, another output is cat. So I have first pointed out initial output and other output as a remaining output. For the first output, I have considered the fitness function one, and for the other, for other output, I have considered the fitness function two. You can take any output as, as the first or the initial output or the remaining output as the remaining outputs. And you, depending on that, you need to apply the fitness function. Uh, no, no. My, uh, my question about uh, difference in complexity. Uh, yes, some complexity difference is there. But in case of fitness function, one is very much easy because it totally only I have checked only the ratio between the number of input and the number of input matches with the targeted output. But in case of fitness function 2, I have cal calculated many things because the fitness function 2 is depends on the previous output also. But the fitness function 1 only depends upon it only. So that's why the, uh, the complexity of fitness function 2 is higher compared to the fitness function 1. Okay. And, and, and you, have, you have used the output algorithm, output of algorithm 1 uh, to the uh, op op optimize with algorithm 2 output. No? Uh, not output your question of is not clear to me. No, no. Output of actually, algorithm. Actually, one. actually, I am telling. Actually, there is three algorithms here. First one is for the fitness function one. Second is the fitness function two, and the third one is the total algorithm, means combining all the steps, crossover, mutation, all things. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. So thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Amit, once again.